you expected to see someone fabulously dressed, please get out. This video is not for you. But if you clicked on this video because you saw my thumbnail and you wanted to see the power of 30% PCA pale, stay tuned. Hi, my name is Hesed and you're welcome to my channel. I am going to be talking about how I faded my stretch marks that you saw there. Okay, this is what it looks like to this almost invisible this almost invisible so you might be wondering what's under my arm well i'm doing the same thing under my arm but my arm isn't seeming to take it so well because i think i have a scar or a cut but we will see how it goes okay if you check other videos you would understand how this stretch mark how it came I was using a product called Fab Empire Skincare Products. It was supposed to be their hot chocolate cream. It wasn't supposed to lie to me. I didn't want anything like me. And I bought it with my money. But then after 28 days or 20 something days, I started getting horrible stretch marks. I used Reticore, which is tretinoin prescription, 0.01%. 0.1% and it really didn't do anything. And I gave up totally. This was in 2020. Today is September 12th. 2021 and i decided to make this video because i was going through my pictures and i saw how horrible the marks were and i told myself mm -hmm, baby girl spill the tea okay so disclaimer this experience is something that i i'm just gonna be very honest with you show you pictures and dates because pictures don't lie videos don't lie too ignore that i have a ring light on but if they tell you i had stretch mark will you believe Okay, you would, but this is the best part. So, what did I do to achieve this with my skin? Mind you, I have tried derma rolling before. I have a derma roller. I don't know why I didn't include it in my stash, but I have a derma roller. And hmm, that made me hyperpigment more. So, I decided to look for another option, which was getting a TCA peel done by myself at the comfort of my home. Now, this is not right. People say don't do a TCA peel by yourself. Then why did you do a 30% TCA? <laughs> Results. It worked, right? Okay, so I was on the streets of YouTube. And I was reviewing, going through reviews for 30% TCA peels and people that used it. I really didn't see anything per se. So I got myself TCA peel from Lady Fetch. This is not a sponsored video. Please note. So I got myself a TCA peel, 30%. You can see that it's been used. If you really look well, I'm trying to get you guys to see the bottle here. Uh, sorry, I'm shit with camera. So you can see the line where the bottle's used. I'm shit with cameras because this is a rush video. It's not supposed to be prim and proper. Because I have exams, so I just wanted to get this over with and post it on YouTube. I know that I'm doing something else because... I wanted to upload a video showing my progress with this one. So I would let you see several videos and we'll get back to the gist, okay? And several pictures, sorry, several pictures. So we get back to the gist. These are the ones I wanted to see because <laughs> these are the ones you will not see again. Like the Bible says, the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. So, Hey guys, so I'm putting my face out just in case someone sees my progress and says oh she's not the one uh i'm still the one okay welcome back i'm pretty sure you were blown away by my experience mind you i was on a journey to having flawless skin without anything so i'll just get into what happened and how i got my marks looking this sorry i'm looking off camera i'm just trying to make sure that you can see everything this good I can wear sleeveless, but oh, <laughs> okay. So what I did was pretty simple. I ordered, uh, so I ordered Lady Fedge's Beauty Epidermal Depigmenting Emotion, which treats melasma, sebum spot corrector, melanin pigment control, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, dyschromia. This is what it looks like. This is not a sponsored ad or a sponsored video. It's just my experience. Why is my lighting acting like this? You know what? I think I figured it out. 
gonna figure this thing out today. I'm so sorry, guys. But you're still gonna stay because you wanna see the tea. You're still gonna stay because you wanna see the tea, right? You wanna hear the tea. So this was 7,000 error and this was 30%, I think it was 12,000. I'm really not sure of the price, but yeah. So I ordered this too. And that night I had no idea what I was doing. I just came back from an event and I cleansed my skin and I put the TCA pill on a cotton wool, a cotton board, and I put it on the marks and it burned and I frosted. So I was super scared. I ran downstairs to the kitchen, bought hot water and put hot water on a towel on my on the marks they're not my marks because they're going on the marks and it healed but now i know better and i am not gonna make that kind of mistake anymore after that healed i was told to use a moisturizer so i was using the cicaplast balm really so i was using the cicaplast balm by la roche per se and this was what I used for three days before I started using this on my skin. Now, this has 5% hydroquinone, 3% tranosamic acid, 2% kojic acid, 3% niacinamide, beta-glucan, and vitamin E. And the shelf, life is, the shelf life is six months after purchase. So I used this for about 20, 26 days because I didn't want to risk my skin been exposed to hydroquinone considering the fact that it was just coming off a chemical peel after a while my skin really i really wish i journaled the process of how this came to be i really wish i'm so sorry but i just wanted to drop this here on youtube just in case anyone is trying to look for a solution so this is my face it's beautiful <laughs> and this is me so this Okay, so back to the story. Uh, the skin peeled in three days. It came off. It was looking really white. I don't know if you can see this whiteness here. That's how this place was looking. So I was really scared that I probably have injured myself. I've wounded my skin. My skin is looking horrible. <sighs> but it turned out like this after a month. And it's getting darker now because... I haven't really done another peel. I want to do another peel, but I want to try and incorporate a derma roller into my procedure. I got a numbing cream from Lady Fetch. I don't know why I didn't show you guys, but I'm going to journal my procedure and journal this one with you so that you can be a part of the process if you want me to. I'm going to journal it and post it. So if you want to see a video like that, please comment and do you understand. So I am... Nigerian Liberian. My mom is Liberian. My dad's Nigerian. So I'm typically black. There's no mixed gene in my skin. I'm black. I'm black. I'm B. And that was 30% TCA peel on my skin. That's the result it gave me. And I just want to get rid of this one too. Mm? Mm? As long as I can get rid of that, I'm going to wear sleeveless and pep pep the world. So, uh, that brings me to talk about Topicals Faded. So, after I got off the emulsion that had hydroquinone on, I started using Faded by Topicals. And this is why my product came this way. I've had Faded for, I think, about two or three months, or almost three months. And I've been using it on my face. I will do a Faded review soon on this channel. So, subscribe, please. Hit the subscribe button. Because I'm going to be dropping a lot of teas. I haven't been really serious. But then a lot of things happened in my life. And I scrolled through. I scroll through. I scroll through the streets of YouTube looking for solutions. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only So I was using Faded by Topicals on this every night. As soon as I got off the emotion. But I told myself. Instead of finishing this that was bought for my face. Why don't you get faded by Topicals the Mist? I think I think Topicals heard my cry and made this body mist because this is what I've been using under here. So I've been using this. I will just spritz it to my palm and put it here. Spritz it to my palm and put it here. Then spray it here and just dab it on. I already did that, so I can't do it again. But I'll just show you what I did. I'll pick that up later. So I do this. 
you can see so i do this i take it here i dab it all over this is really expensive in naira so it's not something i joke with i put it on here all over sorry this video is messy i'm super sorry and then i take the stickoplast balm cream after the mist is dry And I put it on the mark. So that's what I've been doing to help peel my skin. Nothing serious. And then I apply my moisturizer. But I keep my moisturizer off my scars because this is like a treatment. So this and faded I have used. But for this, I used the emotion in this. So if you're looking to get Lady Fedge's um, details... I will put it in the description box. I would comment so you find it. I'm not going to put it in the description box. I will put it in the description box so you can know what it's all about. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I will let you all see different stretch marks that have gone from my skin. And just in case you are scared of doing that TCA peel yourself, please do it. Please do it. I will drop another video doing a TCA peel on my face because I'm trying to do a review on Instagram and I need to really have a good comparison. It's between um, Clinique the Aesthetics Rejuha and Faded by Topico's Serum. But all the same, thank you so much for watching the video this far. I'm sorry it's a stuttering video. It's nothing so professional. I just wanted to get this over with because I... If I don't make this video now, or if I didn't make this video now, I will never make this video. I'm just going to let it go. And then probably tell you that, oh, I did a TCA peel 30% and it gave me this result. But <laughs> if you want to know the story, just scroll down. I have videos on it. I have reviews. I have videos. I have their reply. And it just proof that most of these Nigerian skincare brands... I just shit. But all the same. Ooh. I will keep you guys updated with my Dharma Roman video. I think I gotta go. Yeah, I have to go. So bye. Thanks for watching this this far. Please subscribe because I would update you guys on what this looks like when I'm done peeling. <laughs> yeah, so that's what my skin looks like. And I'm also using a Topicals by Faded Body Mist on my elbow. So, just see. Just see. The next time I'm updating, it will be the same lighting. So, we'll see a difference in a month. That's one review for this. But, thank you so much for watching this far. My name is Hesed. I love you so much. And remember to do that thing you wanted to do with your skin. But be very safe. Because I was ignorant. But I got flawless results. So, bye.